Hello everybody and welcome back, this is Old School Gamer here, we are back again with another video today. And so, literally just the other day, or I believe today, Capcom has announced that the Mega Man series, the original six Mega Man games that were released on the NES, will actually be coming to the iOS and Android devices in January. The release, the actual release date, like what day it will be coming out on, is not confirmed yet, so we do not know that. Hopefully we will find out soon, because honestly, this is going to be badass. I, I remember a few years ago, I tried looking up a Mega Man game on my Android so I could play it, and all I came up with was like this um Blue Rocket Man or some shit like that. And it was pretty damn close to a Mega Man game, you know? It was the closest thing to a Mega Man game you'll ever get on the Android or iOS device. I don't know if it was on iOS, though, but I always remember playing that on my phone. Like, I played it for a good month or two, and I was like, holy shit, kind of want to get Mega Man. And then I came across a NES emulator on my Android, and I was like, yo, okay, now I can actually play the original Mega Man series that I've actually never played before. So, yeah, so that was how I first came across the original Mega Man series, but the actual first Mega Man game I played was actually one of the X ones, was on the PS1. It was with Zero, I think it was X, I don't know. I think it was the first X one released on the PS4, I mean PS1. I don't I don't remember the actual name, I think it was like X4, X5, one of those on the PS1. But that was the first one I ever played, and I will tell you, I love the hell out of it. I hear some people don't like it, but me, honestly, that is the best Mega Man game to me. Mainly because it was the first one I played, the first one I grew up with and all that. But um actually here recently, I think like sometime last year or at the beginning of this year, I actually came across the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Like I found out that that was actually a thing and that was actually released in August of 2015. I don't know the actual date of it, but it was released in August 2015 on the PS4, Xbox One and also the PC. And then a little later, it arrived on the 3DS in February of 2016, so that's honestly pretty cool. I did not know it was even on the 3DS, so that's really fucking cool. Take that shit on the go. It's um, it's not really remastered. It's just up and in uh, to um, 1080. But um, the one that's going to be released on the iOS and also the Android device will actually not be the Legacy Collection. It will just be the original games, but it will contain all the same games, all six Mega Man games. It just won't be the Legacy Collection, so I guess it won't be um, high res or anything like that. I don't really know. I didn't really see too much of a difference between them because I didn't grow up with the original ones. Forgive me with that. But they are all fucking expensive right now. The first one is just way too much money for me. Came across it multiple times at Retro Palooza. When I was at Retro Palooza 4, that was in Arlington that passed just a few days ago. A few days ago. A few months ago, but. I saw a bunch of the copies of that there. I I was wanting to get it, but I just never did. I found a whole bunch of other games, but I was like, damn. The ones that will be releasing on the Android and iOS device will not be the Legacy Collection. So, I don't know what's going to be, like, the differences in them. I read somewhere around here that it probably just won't come with, like, all the behind scenes. Like, the, um, okay, let's see here. Alright, I'm just going to read this whole paragraph here that's on Eurogamer. I'll have the link down there in the description if you guys want to read it. So, it says, It's not clear if this portal, if this mobile port will contain all of that collection's bells and whistles, like an HD res restoration, um, online leaderboards, and behind the scenes extra looks, extras looking at the series, development history. So, pretty much behind the series, the scenes of all pretty much Mega Man, just development hi history, just like how they came up with Mega Man and whatnot. This one I'm suspecting out of that, and plus, but either way, it will let you live out your blue bomber fantasies on the go. So, you can pretty much relive your past if you grew up with all the old Mega Man series. And, um, Capcom also tweeted out saying that the first six Mega Man games are coming to iOS and Android device in January. Pre-register, and then there's also a link there, I'll have the link down there in the description. For you and everything, but, um... Um, Eurogamer actually had an original story that was released earlier today, and then uh, they actually updated it the same day a little later, so Capcom pretty much did two announcements today from what it seems like to me, but yeah, but other than that guys, this was a very short video today, I just wanted to tell you my little history of growing up with Mega Man, how many games I've played, I, um, I also bought Mega Man X1 on the 
on the NES, at the NES, but the Super Nintendo. God, I don't like calling them the SNES or NES like that. I don't know why. But um, I bought that on the Super Nintendo. Funny story is, um, I went over the Game Exchange, which is my um, my local retro video game store that I always go to, which I love to go to, which is um, I recommend it for everybody. Cheap prices and everything. I recommend going to the one in Georgetown, Texas, if you're ever there. It's the best one. They just opened. I I love it there. But, um, I bought it there, um, I didn't have any money at the time, well, I had money, but, I had plenty of money, but I was like, I don't, I just don't want to spend the money right now, I don't think I have that extra money, but, it was like 30, 40 bucks, and I, um, I, I literally bought all my games, got out to the car, I was with my cousin, and I'm like, hey, do you have 30 bucks on it? He's like, yeah, why? Oh, fuck, you wanting that goddamn Mega Man X, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah, dude, I really want it, I, I don't think that's going to be there next time I come, he's like, Ugh. fucking whipped out his wallet and just gave me the 30 bucks, he's like, dude, take it. Pay me back when you get paid. I'm like, dude, thank you, thank you, man, thank you. And so I crashed on the top when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out. What's in my head? And I, I, I. It's like, yeah, so that's how I got my Mega Man X. Played it hard as hell. Oh my god, I could hardly fucking beat that shit. And um, I actually live streamed the whole first Mega Man off the Legacy Collection when I first bought it. I actually streamed that whole game on Twitch. So I actually I actually have the whole playthrough on my YouTube. I'll probably make a playlist and put it down there in the link in the description. Put a link in the description to the playlist if you guys want to watch that. I don't know. But um put down there in the comments if you would like to put put me to put all those Mega Man series in my um in a playlist or something but yeah but i actually completed off mega man one yes i did use the save spots i saved whenever i hit a boss because me honestly i am not good at mega man i am probably the worst mega man player ever not too good but other than that guys i think i'm gonna off the video there if you guys liked it don't forget to like maybe subscribe if you want to up to you and as always do not forget to leave your thoughts and comments down in the comments section below i'd love to hear what you guys say i'll get back to you love to hear your thoughts you know have you guys ever played Mega Man? Which one did you grow up with? Which one was your first one you played? I don't know. Anything like that. I'd love to hear it. Other than that, guys, I want you to have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever time you guys are watching this. As always, keep it old. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. And thank you for watching. Mm.